It's time to get dirty with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets here at the coin. Edwards to set the pace. Great flag is out. Let's do it. Beating it, banging through turns one and two. It will be Meserol to the top spot. Crossover move, Tyler Edwards. Right back to the inside, and Edwards will lead lap number one. Edwards out in front. Team is there in second. Bill Klein, Shane Collar. Right now, your top five, but we got one stopped over in turn number two. It's Tyler Robbins. Edwards again, slide time coming off turn number two. There's Team is right to the inside part of the racetrack. Meserol very good at running the bottom here in the coin. Again, the 7X to the inside, and we got trouble over in turn one. Car upside down, and that is Trevor Klein. So Trevor Klein, unfortunately, done for the night as he will get uh, carried back to the pit area. Meserol hugging that low line side by side for the top spot in turn three. Meserol has to slam on the brakes. That allows Edwards to keep the top spot. Thomas Meserol, slide job in turn number one. He'll slide high. Edwards right back to the inside, and team has will shut the door. On Tyler Edwards, new leader, it's Thomas Meserol out in front. A three-car battle coming off turn two, Ethan Mitchell. Shane Cottle, toss Gavin Miller into the mix. Tyler Edwards slides high, Mitchell clears him. Here comes the throttle to the inside in turn number one. Zach Tom getting up there as well. Dominator up to sixth. Shane Cottle trying to go three wide, does they cross the stripe? Cottle gets two, does he do it coming off turn two? Tyler Edwards back to second. Shane Cottle to third. Ethan Mitchell fourth. Gavin Miller is there. Zach Dom in the mix of the 7U. Gavin Miller in the 97. Working the outside on Cottle. Doesn't know he's there. Almost runs him into the fence. Coming off turn two. Miller around the outside. Will take over second. As Jade spins in turn number one. So that will set the table for Thomas Meserol, still out in front, and he will bring him back off turn number four. We're back underway, Gavin Miller. Now in second, Shane Cotta with the header pointing to the left, runs in third. Miller really showing some speed the last few laps before that caution. 19 of 30, closing in on 10 to go. It happens quick to the sixth mile here in DeCoin. Shane Cottle down low, Zach Dom going up top, there goes Ryan Timms throwing a big slider on Tyler Edwards. Cannon McIntosh up there, now contact, Tim spins around, Tyler Edwards. On top of the 67, caution is out one more time. Thomas Meserol making the liar out of him, he goes right to the low part of the racetrack and turns one and two. Through the middle, up to the top of three and four. Miller is up there. Good restart for Meserol. Now goes to the top and turns one to two. Gavin Miller, Zach Dom, Shane Cottle, Kenna McIntosh. McIntosh on the move. Miller right to the outside part of the racetrack. Dom down low, no shocker there. Timez into turns three and four. Bounces off the cushion. He'll see the white this time by. Final lap here at the Southern Illinois Center. Dom taking a look to the inside for a second. Meserol through three and four. And Timez goes to victory lane as he gets it done. Here in the coin, we got one car upside down. He's climbing out of the race car, ladies and gentlemen. Let him hear you. Thomas Meserol wins here tonight at the coin. Well, I like to think, uh, you know, I used to say I'm an indoor specialist because I race sprint cars full time. Then Dave Estep hired me and now a midget guy, you know, so, but uh, I've had a lot of luck in this place. And like I said, in the heat race, I would rather be lucky than good any day. We drew the front row on the redraw. Jade had a bad night. Cannon sucks. And like, so, you know, some of my competition wasn't there. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it helped that I got lucky, you know, I didn't have some of the hitters I thought I was going to be racing with, but uh, hats off to these guys. I mean, this is, um, I think the seventh or eighth night on this brand new MF1 car. We got this EA Stealth, the Ford FR9 cylinder head that my boss built uh, from the ground up. So super pumped just to be here. I just got back from New Zealand. So I've been racing. I haven't even had a winner. So this, this, is, uh, this is awesome. And if you came out to the races, thank you.